Hello and welcome back to John's Fiddle Lessons at BluegrassDaddy.com. Today we're learning Ball of Them Cabbage Down in the key of A. Now we're going to do this with three different pages of tablature. The first page is just double stops. And uh, this will be really instructive. A double stop is a strange name which means playing two notes at once on the fiddle. So two different strings at once on the fiddle. That's a double stop. And uh, so we're going to play Boil the Cabbage Down. It's all on the A string, a very simple beginner part. The first time through, we'll play the melody. The second time through, we'll play the melody on the A string with the E string playing a harmony note above it. So two notes at once. The, the third time through, we'll play the melody again on the A string, but this time with the D string playing a lower harmony below it. Again, two notes at once. So here's Ball of Them Cabbage Down. We're going to start with just the melody, just to get that into our heads. And you see down here we've got measures one through four. And it's all on the A string, second, third, and first fingers. So let's just play this together, starting with the second finger on the A string. And uh, all together now, one, two, three, four, two, 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 three, three, two, 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 one, one. All right, let's practice that a few times and then scroll down with me to measure five. Measure five through eight looks very similar to one through four, but you see at the end, we're kind of crunching the, uh, the third and fourth measures together into sort of one measure there, measure uh, seven. And in the end, we're just playing two open notes, A open. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, open. Now you know the melody. And so let's move down to measure nine and we're going to work on double stops. You'll notice that measures nine through twelve the A string plays the same melody as it measures one through four. However, now we have E string coming into play. So let's practice the first two notes of each measure. First of all, we have the second finger A and the E string open. So here's second finger A. Here's the E string open. When I put them together, here's what it sounds like. Now notice that you can hear each note really clearly. To do that, you have to take your second finger and really give it a bit of a bend, sort of an arch. And that way it can play the uh, second string, the A string, but yet not touch the E at all. So make sure that second finger is not touching the E string. Now let's go on to the measure 10. You see the third finger is playing A on the blue tape. But our first finger now on the yellow tape, yellow tape is playing the E string. And so when you play them together, it takes a lot of practice to make sure that the third finger here is not touching the E string. The third th finger can't touch the E string at all. But yet the first finger has to be on the E string. So it's really, it can be a bit of a crunch, but you'll get used to it. And here's the two notes together. Now you can see starting the, the uh, 11th measure, you have second finger A, E open again. And then the uh, 12th measure, you've got the first finger A, E open. First finger A, E open. Now to keep the first finger on the A string from touching the E string, I have to put part of the first finger over onto the D string because my finger is too big to do that. And so part of my first finger 
is actually over on the D string while the E is played open. So here are those two notes together. All right, so we're going to start and we'll play the ninth measure through the twelfth measure together, starting with the second finger on the A string and the E string open. One, two, three, four. And I hope you've been following along with the bowing as well. As, as you look down below, you see a down bow pointing down. That means we move the bow this way. You can see the tape moving downward. An up bow pointing up, the second note, this direction. So try to keep in, in touch with the bowing and make sure it's going the right direction. Also, you may notice that the beginning of the ninth measure, there is an open repeat. This means that when you see the close repeat on the right side, of the upcoming 16th measure, you'll bounce back to this point and repeat it again. So each eight measures we're doing twice based on those repeats that I've got there in the tablature. All right, let's roll up to measure 13. And so you can see here measures 13 through 16 look similar to nine through 12. And at the end of measure 16, you see our closed repeat, which means you're gonna bounce back up to measure nine and start again. So these notes are the same except on the 16th measure you see we have the A and the E string played open. No fingers at all. Let's play 13 through 16 together. One, two, three, four, Now that was very good. Practice that for a while. And then let's move on to measure 17. On measure 17, you can see that the A string is playing exactly like it did on measures 1 through 4 or measures 9 through 12. And so the A string hasn't changed. However, now we have our double stop note on the D string this time instead of the E string. So beginning at measure 17, you've got the D starting on the first finger. So here's A2 and D1. Now you make sure that your second finger A is not touching the D string and we'll play those two together. At the beginning of the 18th measure, you see you have a third finger on the A and a second finger on the D. Make sure your third finger is not touching the D string. Here's third finger A, your second finger D, play them together. And now you see on the uh, 20th measure, we have the first finger A and the first finger D played together with the first finger. So you have to lay your first finger across both strings. So let's play measure 17 through 20. One, two, three, four. Three and two. Two and one. And now let's scroll down to measure 21 through 24. You see it's very similar to 17 through 20, except at the end we're playing an A open, but this time a D first finger. So here's A open, here's first finger D, and here are the two together. Again, so that my first finger D doesn't touch the A string, I have to put part of that finger onto the G string. 
but I'm not playing the G string, so it doesn't really matter. But I have to move it downward, and part of that finger covers the G string in order for me to play the A string open. Let's play them together. One, two, three, four. The next video will be playing this song slowly with the metronome. Yeah.